The Supreme Court has allowed Border Patrol to resume cutting the wire put up by the state of Texas illegally on the border. Some of the responses to this are like you see with Clay Higgins here. My thoughts are that the feds are staging a civil war and Texas should stand their ground. You might be like, well, no one cares about Clay Higgins. That's true. But then we also have Greg Abbott here who, you know, barely anyone cares about. This is not over. Texas razor wire is an effective deterrent to the illegal crossings Biden encourages. I will continue to defend Texas constitutional authority to secure the border and prevent the Biden admin from destroying our property. Here's the thing, though. The Supreme Court decides that constitutional authority and you don't have it. I guess Republicans now have a new thing. Remember, they, you can't question the Supreme Court unless it's about something like Roe v. Wade. They like to do special things, and otherwise, it's all the Constitution, right? You can't question the Supreme Court and the Constitution unless it doesn't go their way. Now, while we have these two politicians doing this, we have others claiming that Amy Coney Barrett must be compromised. They're worried about any rulings with Trump. We have people calling for Texas to secede and Americans to take up arms at the border. And then during all this, we have the plan convoy. The convoy that had leaders refuse to take a stand between Border Patrol and Texas National Guard. They wouldn't say what side they're on. The convoy that has repeatedly said people wanting to take long arms to the border aren't welcome. A convoy that keeps trying to temper expectations about local support in Texas. They don't want, they, they keep trying to temper that these locals, oh, they aren't going to maybe support you as much, or they aren't going to have as many problems. Because immigration is really affecting people elsewhere. They literally used Washington State as an example at one point. A convoy that, from my understanding, from what they've said, isn't even really going to Eagle Pass. Just near it. Because going to Eagle Pass could cause problems and they want to avoid problems. A border convoy avoiding the border part that they're focused on, it makes no sense to me. But, hey, that's what's happening. And now that convoy has to deal with politicians and would-be members possibly joining them who are, who are calling for armed rebellion. And I think they knew this was coming too with all the repeated J6 comparisons made about their convoy. We might have another convoy spinoff scenario happening because the, the current leaders might not go extreme enough. Remember, the People's Convoy was supposed to go into DC and they decided that was too extreme, that was too far. They didn't do it, so we got a spinoff. And now we have people that were in the People's Convoy, then joined the spinoff who are now planning to join this convoy. This convoy is ripe for a spinoff. And the question is like, will Greg Abbott at some point speak to this convoy in support? Will that radicalize them? Will Clay Higgins join and be on the lookout for the spooky ghost buses? I guess we'll have to see. The thing is, the convoy before today, if you talked about it, I would say that it's it's it was worthless, right? Like I listened to them talk and they're, it, it's all religion and God's gonna do it and we're not really there to change anything. We're there because of revivals and whatever. It's a religion thing. And it sounded like they wanted to actually avoid the border, which I thought was going to confuse some people that were involved. And they weren't going to realize it and then get down there and be mad. And it was going to be another scenario with a failed convoy. Everyone goes home kind of fuming. Waste of time. But now, with all of this happening, I'm wondering if the members are going to push for them to be more extreme. There is a scenario where the extreme side fights with the non-extreme side and this whole thing gets called off before it starts. There's still a few days for that. I don't think that's the scenario I get. I think more likely they'll go all the way down to the border and we'll get a spinoff. Um, but yeah, I just love how Republicans are now, well, you know, I'm going to use all my constitutional authority, but the Supreme Court ruled against you and didn't you say the Supreme Court should be trusted? And... You have to remember, conservatives in America only like the Constitution when it gives them the ability to oppress someone. You'll find that repeatedly. You have them complaining about Roe v. Wade. There's complaints about gay marriage. There's complaints about interracial marriage. I think we're looking at an interesting time the next week or so. I am going to be trying to cover it. Um as best I can. I'm going to try to not put out a bunch of videos with like nothing because I know this convoy is going to be in flux. I know it's going to constantly be changing things because all these people are going to try to get involved and new people are going to be rushing into it now. I'm going to try to taper videos off so when I cover something 
it's when there's big change. Because as of right now, it's just... I don't know why they're doing it. 